Well, you know what they say, show me your top five podcasts you hang out with and I will show you your future. We talk a lot about the people we hang out with, but I really do also believe who we listen to, what we read, makes a big difference. I decided to make this video because my last video, the top 20 books you should read in 2020 did so well, I thought I would make another one. Not gonna lie, I just uploaded it like an hour ago. I have no idea if it does well or not, but who cares? I really wanted to do this. I think it's a great idea. So I'm gonna put 333 on the clock. I'm gonna give you my five favorite podcasts that you should listen to in 2020. This is a perspective of a pastor, but I think this is anybody who's interested in the way of Jesus, especially those who are leading any type of way, communicating any type of way, the way I like to call it, the dreamers and doers out there. I probably should have come up with the list before I started pressing record. Let's put the time on the clock and let's begin. Number five, I would say Love Thy Neighborhood podcast. I love this podcast since the last couple years. Honestly, I did the leadership workshop link somewhere uh, and we actually had all of our people listen to that whole podcast a couple summers ago because we thought it was that valuable. This is helpful as a leader to honestly bring people through a narrative of problems. So, so like to me, it, they take really complex issues and instead of just telling you the answer, they bring you along a story and talk about how that answer unfolds in real life. It talks about politics, it talks about abortion, it talks about homelessness, it talks about racism. It's incredible, you gotta go check it out. The fourth one I would recommend is Retropod. Now, if you're a leader, communicator, it's really important for you to know history and like tie those in as much as possible. These are five minute history lessons every single day. I don't use them always, but it's fun to hear history and I love that I'm putting them away in like my sermon folder. That one day I'm gonna use some of these stories. In fact, I've already done it a couple times already. I guess I'm gonna be that guy. Number three podcast I would have you listen to is my podcast called The Ministry Podcast. Come on, who do you take me for? Of course, that's a joke. The next podcast you absolutely should listen to is the Emotionally Healthy Leader Podcast by Pete Scazzaro. It constantly recenters me, makes me realize just my, I don't, it's just a really good podcast to stay emotionally healthy, to do the right things. He is a wise pastor and always kind of brings me back to reality and also to grace. Am I doing good on time? The number two podcast I would recommend is the Cultivate Women's Podcast. Um, this is especially for the women leaders out there. Also, men who have wives and just friends that are girls. Check out this podcast. My wife and Caleb's wife, Shelby, have done such a great job with this podcast. Um, I love the discussions they have. It honestly brings me value all the time, and so I would suggest you to check it out. They've even, they just finished a series on the Enneagram and spiritual practices, and they're killing it over there. I'm proud of them. I want to tell you that I just saw them hitting their backyard, jumping on trampoline while I was. It was so cool. The number one podcast I would absolutely recommend is This Cultural Moment. It's with John Mark Comer and Mark Sayers. Uh, they are so helpful as leaders to figure out this cultural moment, especially if you're somebody who is in a kind of city that deals more with secularism, um, which is most of us at this point. I love just the way they look at it. My favorite talks of his is the Portland Sessions by Mark Sayers. The thing that blew my mind is fire and form. I think this is Portland Sessions number five. You're welcome. <laughs> really good podcast. I really hope that I made the 333 cutoff not super sure if I did. If not, here is a cool baptism video. I never really found a place to add. You cannot truly face your death until you have fully embraced his life. Baptism is great, it's water, but you know the water represents burial. Like we're celebrating today. What I love about the gospel message, because guys, life is complicated. So our answer is not just, oh, you'll never die. No, our answer is yes, you'll die, but you'll raise again. There is a resurrection. And so when we baptize today, when they go in the water, it represents dying with Christ. And then when they come back out of the water, it represents a new life that's in Christ, a resurrected Zoe life. And we know as we partake in this that we can face death because Jesus faced the ultimate death in our place. Thank you so much for giving me your time. One more thing I would suggest is to not listen to podcasts and just listen to silence and go on a run and talk with God and hear from God. That's a big deal. Something that I've always kind of fell into is um, listening to too many things and not giving God enough space for his grace in my place at this pace. For real though, like just try silence for a while. It'll be good for you. Um, happy 2020. So cool. That is so cool.
Go do it again. And, but I think they won't come back. Mm. So I mean, it was so cool because they had 